Hi everyone. So today, hi everyone. So today we'll be having a session with our town hall session. So we first we will begin with a game of Kahoot. So you can join for the first five few minutes. You can join in, and then you can start the game. You. <coughs> You start with me. We will be starting in the next one minute. So join in, join in. So I think we can now start. You can still join in when the game is continuing. So yeah, let's start. So our phase one will be ending in two weeks time. We, I think we now have 11 days to go. Yes. The phase for you to qualify to the next phase, you need to at least have 10 hours of course content or an average of 100 in your skill IQ.
Mm, congratulations, D. Yeah, it's nice that you guys know your program assistants. And to the last question. Thank you all for playing now to the podium. Congratulations, Ivy, D, LN. There's someone called Test who came number four and also so so what 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 are we going to do during this call so this call is basically to give you an update of the program from mercy so we'll start with uh, oh sorry bethany i think we lost you for a yes. bit yeah, but we'll kick off with the, with the video compilation from some of our JDS 2020 learners. Just a moment.
Hello, my name is Tiffany Tawarar. I'm from Kenya. I'm enrolled in the GADS program under the Mobile Web Specialist track. I'm so grateful for my teammates and mentors, first of all, just for being there and for pushing me and encouraging me to become a better developer. I'm also grateful for Plural Site because through their content, I've been able to know where I stand as a web developer and I'm able to update my knowledge in the skill sets that I've been able to acquire. I'm just so grateful for God's investing in me and all of us and helping us make something good out of such a crazy time as now. We just hope, I just hope and pray that I'll be able to pay back by becoming a better developer and also through implementing solutions that will make Africa a better place and my community a better place. So thank you. Hi, my name is Douglas from Uganda on the Android track. The GADS 2020 experience is that it's really challenging, but it's fun, engaging, informative. Trust me, it's informative. And it helps me connect with different people. And don't forget, you learn something new every day. It's not an easy task, trust me. But with the determination and dedication, we are still pushing on. And I want to say thank you, because it really means a lot to invest something like that into young people like me. It really means a lot, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, I am Chiwe Onichi, and I am about to be Google certified. Yes. <laughs> so I was always a fan of the cloud, but I had absolutely no idea what the cloud was about and its superpowers. I am so excited beyond words to be selected for the GADS 2020 Associate Cloud Engineer Scholarship. And to keep up with my learning experience, I have been able to devote one hour each day to enjoy the course content and almost done diving in for the second round. Course delivery with Google has been awesome. Trust me, I will have it no other way. I am so appreciative and thankful to Andela Google and Plural Sites for affording me the opportunity to have this learning experience. Cheers. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Just kidding. So this is the Jim Wilson's course that I am currently on. I am uh, I am trying to now look at this course Android apps with Kotlin, build your first app. And I am now at module number five and I am at the part of uh, handling note selection. I have made a few notes about the course. For example, over here you can see I have done notes on uh, why are we using Kotlin for code efficiency um, to avoid boilerplate? I didn't know what the heck boilerplate meant, so I made a note to myself. I need to go figure it out. I mean, Google it or ask Mr. Google, as we say. And uh, yeah, I learned a few things. And this is new for me, like the ver and the val. It's a little confusing, but I'm getting it. And yeah, and this is uh, my Android Studio. I am killing it. I just, um, you know, yeah, I'm killing it, man. I made a button right down here. Hi, guys. My name is Peter, and I'm one of the lucky selected Phase 1 learners for the Associate Cloud Engineering Platform of the ongoing Google Africa Developers Scholarship Program. As you can see, in, in the last, um, in these past three weeks, I've been able to actively learn and practice the labs in the current phase. I have also been able to acquire um, a 211 skill IQ. I intend to continue to learn since um, in the this one track I've been able to complete, as you can see, the 100%. I've been able to complete um, all the lectures, the materials given to us. Likewise, the deep dive, I've been able to do the same. I want to say a big thank you to Site and Google for this opportunity and a big thank you to all organizers and mentors.
Thank you everyone for sharing your stories. Uh, it's been, a, it was a pleasure having you share your stories with us so that we can share it with the rest. So what will you expect in these sessions? We will have a keynote from Google and a Q&A session with Rural Site. Teruto will give us the updates, what is upcoming in the program. Then we'll have our top learners, five of them, to tell us about the experience, how they managed to become the top and everything. Then we will have our close, closing remarks from Andela, specifically from Joy. So yeah, let me invite Alela for the Google Keynote. Hello, Bethany. Just confirm that you're able to hear. Um, thank you so much, Bethany, for the welcome. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Google Africa Developer Scholarship Town Hall. As Alia mentioned, my name is Alela Yunis. I work at Google as the community manager with a focus on the developer experts program. I will not take much of your time because I just saw 100% completion and I reminded myself that I'm a learner at 40%. So today I not only join you as a Googler, but I'm also joining you as a learner who's interested to see what other learners are doing. And by so saying, I believe that through the GADS program, you will be able to acquire skills, tools, resources, and networks that can help you grow as a developer. And what I mean is when you look at yourself as a developer, you look at trying to come up with sustainable solutions to the problems around you, around the ecosystem. As, my, as Ali mentioned, I will not take much of your time and just I'm just gonna say, I cannot wait to know the questions that you have, the Q&A. I think I have a thousand and one questions scribbled down somewhere, but congratulations to the class of 2020. Back to you, Thank you so much, Alela. Uh, now we'll move to Marcy and Ryan. On the first, we'll have Ryan introduce himself from the Parole Site team. Then Marcy will ask you questions afterwards. Welcome, Ryan. Hi, all. Thanks, Bethany. Um, hey, everybody. Congratulations again on making it to Learning Phase 1. We have just over a week left, so we're super excited to uh, see more engagement in all of the content and uh, to see everybody continuing to push forward with their learning, taking their skill IQs, and engaging with all of the courses that we set out or put on Coral site. So looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, uh, thanks, Ryan. Uh, so I have a couple of questions uh, lined up for you from the Lana. So we asked Lana to share questions that we are going to action today. Uh, unfortunately, we are not able to answer all the questions, but we are definitely going to answer some of the most voted questions. So just getting right to it. So I'll start with the first question, which would be, uh, do you have to take uh, learning checks after each course on site to show completion of the course? So that's a great question. You don't have to uh, complete the learning checks to actually complete the course. Um, so feel free to just, if you engage with the video content, we'll be tracking that on our end. The learning checks are just to help with your learning to make sure that you're retaining things that you learn in the videos, but those will not go towards your completion percentage. Yeah, and a follow-up to that would be, uh, someone mentioned that checking through the channels, uh, he or she has to watch a combination of 10 hours, but when they check through the parts, the pro side parts, they have just watched three hours. Uh, do you want to speak to that? Yeah, definitely. So the, uh, the channels, if you were in the program last year, um, your engagement within certain courses that are included on the channels, those will show up as complete within your profile. We'll only be tracking engagement since the beginning of the program to count towards your completion status for this year. So let's say you were in last year's program, you engaged with the Android track, you completed a lot of content on there, and now you're on the Android track again. That'll show up in the channels as a completed course but re-engage with any of that content or any of the extra content that we've included in order to ensure that you actually have 10 hours of content engagement since the beginning of this program and not including last year's program. Yeah, thank you. So uh, I'll move over to the next question. Uh, so someone asked, uh, since the beginning of the 
since the beginning of the program, I haven't taken my skill IQ because my present IQ is over 100. Do I need to retake the skill IQ assessment? Yeah, that's another great question. And kind of like the last answer I gave, we'll only be tracking skill IQs since the beginning of this program. Um, so make sure, even if you do have a score of 100 plus on your uh, role specific uh, skill IQ, I would retake the skill IQ assessment to make sure that we're tracking it for this program um, and you'll be applicable for the next learning phase. So in short, retake your skill IQ assessment during this, uh, this program and that's what we'll be using to track uh, your engagement. Sorry, uh, thanks Ryan. So uh, the, that's great. So the next question would be, can we please have can we please have you reset growth site so that we can test skills I skill assessment I just correct test with assessment twice a month so I guess you can just speak to how can someone detect skill IQ if they've taken skill IQ before Yeah definitely so that is a great question I would love to to make skill IQs open to to everyone to take as much as possible Fortunately, we have some product limitations that don't allow us to do that. However, like Mercy alluded to, there are opportunities to be able to retake a skill IQ assessment. So for example, if you've taken the Android assessment and you scored 95, then you wanna score those other five points to be able to advance to learning phase two. Um, what you can do is you can engage with 60% of the relevant content for that specific uh, skill IQ score. So on the associate Android developer skill IQ, if you scored novice, so a 95, then you could engage with all of the content in the associate Android developer um, skill path, which is included on the associate Android developer channel deep dive um, channel. So if you engage with 60% of the beginner content, then that will actually unlock an additional skill IQ retake. So that's not time-based at all. As soon as you're done engaging with 60% of that content, it'll unlock a, an opportunity to retake your skill IQ. So that's one option you have. The second option is we'll, we re-unlock skill IQ retakes every 30 days. So imagine you took um, that skill IQ 25 days ago, you would just need to wait five additional days and then we would unlock an, an additional skill IQ attempt for you. So there's two different options. One is engaging with the content. And then secondly would be to um, just wait 30 days to engage with the skill IQ again. Um, and we can follow up with a help center article on Pluralsight that goes into more detail here. Um, and I think that'll provide a lot of guidance there. Yep. Thanks, Ryan. I think uh, we can't insist that enough. Uh, you have the 30 days period. If that does not apply to you right now, engage with, take a skill IQ, engage with more content to be able to take skill IQ. And we are going to insist on that more than we have ever insisted on moving forward. And just to mention as well, the article that Ryan is mentioning, check your email. We sent it to your email with the current email that we just sent you. I think that should be one day ago. So that I think that answers it. So the next question, Ryan, I will add it to another question as well. How long does it take? How long does the content for each phase remain accessible to us after Phase has ended. I think I've seen almost similar question as well on YouTube. Uh, please will the learning materials and videos be made available after completion? So if you can speak to that. Yeah, so you'll have access to all of the Pluralsight content throughout the remainder of the program. So as long as you have a Pluralsight subscription, you'll continue to have access to all of those channels. Um, when we advance to learning phase two, all of the channels will be marked uh, according to the phase that they, they're associated with. So the learning phase two channels will be marked learning phase two main track and deep dive. Learning phase one channels will be marked main track and deep dive. And then you have your foundations channels from the application and promotion phase, but you'll continue to have access to these channels throughout the remainder of the program. So you can go back and, and check on, on previous content. Yeah. Uh... 
Thanks, Ryan. I think uh, that's made the lead for us trying to look through YouTube if we have any live questions as well. I think uh, still questions revolve around skill IQ. Someone still wants to change the course or rather the tracks at this time. Unfortunately, we are not able to change that. Um, I think another question that we've seen a lot uh, from the AAD team of learners would be, uh, I think there's a mention of outdated out content from uh, the AAD track. I don't know if or you would want to speak to that? Yeah, so that's super valuable feedback and we really appreciate it. So we've brought that back to our content and curriculum teams um, and we're discussing that internally and, and seeing how we can, uh, we can improve the, the outdated content on the Android track. For now, that's the content we have, but we're, we've opened up those discussions internally to see how we can, we can have more up-to-date content there. So thank you for that feedback. Yeah, I think that's all. That's majorly it. Um, most of the questions just revolve about, around skill IQ and learning hours. So still, they, we're going to still insist about that. It's 10 hours of learning content or, or check your skill IQ and score at least 100. So yeah. Yeah. And just following up on, on Mercy, that's, I think, one of the reasons we uh, are, are opening up two different avenues for advancement, the skill IQ and the 10 hours of content engagement. Um, I think it's, it, uh, it's because, yeah, if you're locked out of a skill IQ for some reason, you can still advance via content engagement. And if you've already engaged with a lot of content, you should be able to, in previous programs, you should be able to take the skill IQ pretty quickly and in five minutes be able to advance to the next phase of learning. Um, so yeah, uh, once again, just, keep on engaging with the content, keep on engaging with uh, your skill IQ, um, and, and looking forward to uh, meeting you guys again during learning phase two. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, back to, to you, Bethany. I think Marcy, I will be, I will be coming back to you again. So we need to hear the program updates from your side. So what, what is that in store for us after the, in this learning phase and what next? Absolutely, I will share my screen right away. Okay, uh, confirm you can see my screen. I believe you can. Yeah, we so, can see. Uh, yeah, I'll leave this here for a second and just say it's 11 days to go. 11 days to go within no time we'll be at one day to go and hopping on to learning phase two uh so why i'm sharing this i want us to ask ourselves are we ready for learning phase two have we engaged enough content have you taken your skill iq if you did not score more than 100 have you taken your skill iq so we don't want to leave anyone behind remember why you join this program. We want you to unlock more opportunities, more have access to more content in learning phase two. So moving over to other updates would be, yep, as Ryan has shared and I have echoed that and I believe by now you've seen a thousand emails from me. Uh, there is going to still be, I would want all of us to still have access to more content and even advance to project phase and advance to certification phase so that we get to maximize this opportunity. So uh, just to insist, uh, please stick, take, take or retake your skill IQ by 13th of July. So if you already taken your skill IQ, scored 100 plus well and good. If you haven't, please take your skill IQ by 13th of July. And why we are saying 13th of July, it doesn't mean we are moving the deadline. We are urging you to take it by then so that you have enough time to still detect skill IQ if you don't uh, achieve what you desire. So I know most of us are waiting to engage with more content. Uh, before you know, learning phase one will be over and you'll be asking us to still give you the opportunity to do it. So we are asking you and reminding you right now, please take your skill IQ, please take it if you've taken it before and you did not score your desired. And 
And the other thing would be engage, engage, engage with content. So this content is still available with, for you. And what we're saying is engage with at least 10 hours of course content. And this applies across all tracks. So for skill IQ, just to echo that would be, you have to score an average of 100 for MWS. So MWS, you have to take three skill IQs, uh, get an average of 100 in two of those skill IQs. Uh, in case you need more details, check your email. We shared all the links to taking your skill IQ, links to all the course content, and I think you have all the information you need. And the other update as well that I would like to share would be, I know we promised to share learning or rather engagement budgets with you, but we are going to share that by end of learning phase one. We want to give everyone an opportunity to earn this budget. So we are going to share that by end of learning phase one, which is basically in about one week. And also we've created a link that has all resources and all the FAQs. We shared it with you via email, but also uh, the link is gds.andela.com. So you can find all the resources, all the questions you're asking, we should be able to find them there. Uh, I think uh, the other thing that I wanted to update you would be up any upcoming events and uh, timelines. So tomorrow we will be having our first uh, Women of Guards webinar with uh, some top female engineers in the ecosystems. Don't miss out on that. Uh, head over to our YouTube channel. You can see, you can be able to see that and set a reminder. Uh, but also on the on the link that has all the resources, it still has our calendar of events and you can join the sessions tomorrow. That will be happening by 2 p.m. GMT that same time. We'll be having an expert session 17th July as well. This expert session will have uh, experts from Pluralsight, Andela and Google, so don't miss out on that. Also, we'll be having the second workshop. Thanks to everyone who was able to join the previous workshop. I believe that was informative. So we will be having another track specific workshop, that, but that will come just after learning phase one ends. So that will be 25th of July. And just to echo, learning phase one ends 21st of July. It's just about a week. So as we move over to the weekend, please remember to engage with course content. Remember to take your skill IQ so that you qualify for learning fixed. Yeah, I think that's all from my end. Uh, if I continue talking, I'll still tell you to just take your skill IQ. So that's all from my end, Bethany. Thank you so much, Masi. Thank you, Masi, for the, for the updates. So we'll go right into the top uh, the top learners. We will start with, I can see all of them are here. We have Francis, we have Abdul, we have Ivan, Carol, and Blessing. So I think we'll start with Blessing. How are you, Blessing? Uh, uh, unmute. Sorry, um, <laughs> I had put my microphone on mute. Anyway, um, hello everyone. Hi, Bethany. Hi, Messi. Hi. You can introduce yourself to the learners. Okay, my name is uh, Blessing Yemrai Chuome. I'm from Zimbabwe. Um, I'm enrolled in the Google uh, Cloud Platform uh, track. This is my uh, second year. Last year I enrolled and, and I failed just before the the certification phase. So for this year, I'm, I'm really motivated. It was such a disappointment for me <laughs> to, to not make it to the certification phase last year. Um, I don't know if that's enough for the introduction. Yeah, yeah that's, that's enough. You've already even <laughs> answered the first question. What is your God <laughs> journey? <laughs> but tell us, what, what are you doing differently this year? What is now, what makes you um, the top learner this year? This year, I have devoted myself to consistent engagement. What I've noticed from uh, last year is last year I would engage in a, a module, in a course, and then skip about a week. And then when we have pressure for, I think last year we would have exercises, the um, um, practicals, the labs, would have to submit the labs 
uh, for our next phase uh, completion. So I would wait until that pressure is due and not constantly engage in, in the course content. But for this year, I decided I'm not gonna do too many hours. If you see um, the hours that I've taken on is just the courses that I've been assigned to understand. So I've gone over those courses, focused on them, went through the labs and Basically, that's how I've managed to, I think, become a top lane. I was equally surprised. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. So what keeps you motivated in the program? What makes you come back again and again to learn and study? Um, my ultimate goal is at some point, I want to join the Google team. So for me, I just that idea that I want to join the Google team. For me, the Google platform is such an exciting and diverse platform that I desire to become a big part of it. And being in Zimbabwe, this product is not yet uh, fully utilized, or, or rather, I would say it's not even utilized. I would put it at 10% utilization. So this is such an exciting experience for myself and for my community at large to be able to have this expertise. That's amazing. So from the YouTube chat, I can see someone saying, take courage this year, you must get it. So this is your year. This get is my year. I, I'm not slowing down. Okay, thank you so much. So I think right. we'll move on to the next Lana. We have Ope, Ope B. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name right. <laughs> oh, Ope B. Abdul. Abdul, yes, Abdul. Can kindly unmute your mic. Abdul. Okay. Hello. Yes. yes. You can put your video on for the others right. to see you. Okay. Okay, can you see okay. me now? Yeah, 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 no, we can see you. So introduce yourself to us. Good afternoon, I'm Kobi Abdul Latif from Nigeria. I'm on Android track. And uh, I've been learning this thing for quite a long time because ever since I've learned about programming, that's always been my passion. Can you hear me? Hello? Sorry, I can hear you. You can't hear me, you can, you can hear me. Oh, we can hear you, we can hear you, continue. All right. So programming has always been my passion, but I've already distracted with other things. So this time around, I decided to focus on programming with minimal distraction. So that's it. What, what do you think makes you stand out from the others? Uh, Hello. Well, I can hear you. I think what makes me stand out is that my attention to, to fundamentals, you understand? I'm not so keen about watching so many video contents, but practicing what I learn in each video content. I think that's what uh, increased my high skills or probably maybe one of the top learners. Thank you so much, Abdul. Okay. Thank you. You guys, you, you have heard from Abdul, keep practicing. The goal is to understand and know what you're doing and use it to make solutions for Africa. So I think next we can have Ivan. Ivan? Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hi, Ivan. So he, oh, Ivan evening. is, yeah. So Ivan is French speaking. So yeah. he will yeah. introduce himself and speak about his journey in French. So take it away. Yeah, uh, I want to introduce myself in English. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Yeah, I said I want to introduce myself in English, okay? Yeah, sure, sure, Ivan, you can go ahead. Okay, I'm a, my name is Ivan, Ivan Katri. I'm Cameroonian and I follow the Google Africa Developer Scholarship this year. 
I'm on an Android pack. Um, I'm also a passionate Android developer, a passionate software developer with more than three years of experience. And last year I last year I started Android develop, Android development and I work on uh, two applications with my friends that uh, that are already in the Google Play. So that's uh, that's my story. Yeah, uh, even I guess we can just go over to the next item. Uh, just you sharing with us the your GADS, uh, your Google Africa Development Scholarship journey. Uh, just in case you're going to switch to French, I just wanted to yeah. let everyone know that we are sharing what Ivan will be talking about on the screen, so you will have to read it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'll continue. Yeah. Okay. Uh, alors, l'année passée, en fait. J'ai eu la chance de, de participer au programme et euh, voilà, je n'avais pas vraiment pris au sérieux. Voilà, j'ai été éliminé avant même d'atteindre la première phase. Mais bon, j'ai suivi un ami et collègue qui est allé jusqu'à jusqu la phase de certification et je me suis dit que cette année, je devais, je devais m'y mettre pour profiter d'abord de, pour profiter en fait, pour améliorer mes compétences et ben voilà possible d'être certifié à Android, certifié Android. Et c'est ce que je fais depuis, depuis que le programme a commencé. Ok, uh, if you can just go over how you're doing the GADS program and just take through, us through that. And everyone else, you can still read it as well. Uh, hello? Yeah, so I said you, you can take us through how you join the GATS program and everyone yeah. else can read what you will be saying, yeah. D'accord. Alors, l'année passée, en fait, je me suis abonné à la newsletter de l'équipe de, de Andela. Et cette année, lorsque j'ai reçu le mail qui me notifia du lancement du programme euh, Google Africa Developer Scholarship, je me, suis, je me suis tout de suite inscrit au programme. Donc, euh, j'ai joué un programme par là. C'est quand j'ai reçu le mail que je me suis inscrit. Yeah, thank you. I think uh, most of us are already wondering and asking themselves, how are you able to engage with content when your first language is French? And I, I think this should be some, this is something that, you know, uh, people who are who, who have English as their first language might be asking themselves, but also we have a couple of learners who come from the Francophone country. So if you could just tell us about that as well. Uh, D'accord. Alors, c'est vrai que ma première langue, c'est le français. Mais voilà, la seconde, la seconde langue officielle que je, que je parle, que je utilise le plus, c'est l'anglais, parce que le Cameroun, en fait, est un pays bilan. Mais... En anglais, j'ai juste eu des difficultés à tenir une conversation. Sinon, pour le reste, je n'ai pas de problème avec l'anglais puisque la majeure partie des tutoriels que je suis euh, professionnellement dans le code, et, voilà, c'est en anglais. Et d'ailleurs, j'écris généralement mon code en anglais. Donc, je n'ai pas, pas, pas de problème avec l'anglais. Maintenant, en ce qui concerne Floral Site, j'ai activé euh, les captions pour euh, cette, certains auteurs qui vont un peu, qui vont un peu vite. Uh, Jim Wilson, qui va vite. Donc, j'ai activé les captions qui me permettent de, de mieux comprendre ce qu'il dit. Thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you. V very many people in the chat are saying you've inspired so many French-speaking yeah. learners. Thank you so much. So, okay. we have two other learners. We have Carol and Francis. So, Carol. Yeah. So hi everyone. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm Carol Musioka from Kenya. I'm a student. So I started my journey to become an Android developer back in 2018, but I fell out of the program because I wasn't consistent enough. So I will pick up a topic, then I'll do it and I'll leave it half done and just move on to the next without really following what 
I had understood or anything like that. So I just left the program in 2018 and I I decided to just do other things, but I decided to join again in 2020 because Android has always been in GDS 2020. So yeah, so that's my journey. Okay, thank you so much, Carol. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe you're an inspiration to many that with consistency, consistency is key. So we yeah. have our last learner, Francis. Francis? I think, okay, I can't reach out to Francis at the moment, he's muted and yeah. So you've heard from our top learners that you, if you keep practicing and continue being cons consistent in your learning, you'll be able to pass to the next step. So we can still reach to Francis, so we'll go to the next part of our agenda, which is, yeah, the final Q&A session. And uh, I believe, Mercy, you can handle this. Yeah, uh, Bethany, I can, I can pull it up some questions that we still have. Um, in the meantime, as I look through the questions on YouTube, you can just help me look through questions on Slido. So we, we have a question from uh, the Slido link. Uh, so most learners are asking, what if, what will happen if you don't do the skill IQ before July 13th? Why is it really necessary to do the skill IQ? Yeah, so if First of all, we are saying, first of all, skill IQ takes less than 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes of your time. So you have a couple of hours before July 13th. And the reason I, I mentioned that, you know, uh, it's good for you to take it early enough so that you have enough time if you need to retake it before the next learning phase. So if you don't take it by then, uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean otherwise really, but we highly encourage you to do it before then so that you have enough time to retake it in case you need to retake it. Okay. I cannot find any other questions from, from Google. I uh, mean, from the YouTube channel. Okay, if we don't have any other questions, I guess we can move over to closing the mass then. But in, I, I believe also I share that in case you have any questions, we have a couple of frequently asked questions on, on gads.andela.com as well. Oh, so th there's a question here. Um, Wait, I have lost it again. It was about, is it guaranteed that if you meet one of the requirements that you'll be able to get into phase two? Ryan, do you want to take that? Yeah, I can answer that. That's a great question as well. Um, so if we were currently have 20,000 spots available for learning phase two, um, so right now we have 33,000 people that are in learning phase one. That'll be limited to 20,000 in learning phase two. So if we do have more than 20,000 learners um, that have completed the criteria for learning phase two, we'll need to find a way to, to better segment those learners. What we've done in the past is taken, okay, this learner engaged with X amount of hours of content. This learner had this skill IQ score. So learners that had shown more engagement on the platform via how much content they're engaging with and a skill IQ score, um, we prioritize the advancement of those learners. So piggybacking off of the, the question that Mercy answered uh, previously, I think it's important to be able to demonstrate, yeah, I've engaged with the content, but also taken a skill IQ to show um, that you're more engaged in the program because those are the learners that are prioritized. 
So we take into account a lot of different things, but I think content engage, uh, overall engagement on the platform will be used the most to prioritize the 20,000 learners. Bethany, any other questions from your end? Yeah, yeah, there's the question about Quick Labs. So let's say you registered with an email that isn't Gmail. Uh, you registered with another email. So how do you get to do your Quick Labs? Because when you're doing Quick Labs, you're asked to log in with your Google account. Yeah, so we'll be able, you can still do Quick Labs on the, on the separate email. Um, we are able to tie that back into our systems here at Pluralsight. Um, so feel free to, to use that separate email if you have to, um, to take Quick Labs, that's okay. Okay, so the learners asking about changing tracks. I believe that is not possible at the moment. Or can one change a track at the moment? Mercy, you got it. <laughs> yeah, oh. I guess I had already answered the question. Unfortunately, you can't change the track anymore. First of all, we mentioned this during the onboarding. And we are just about one week to end of learning phase one. Uh, unfortunately, we are not able to change that. Okay. Then the other question is about the leaderboard. How often is it updated? That's to you, Marcy. I think you've answered it so many times. Yeah, uh, uh, happy to answer it again. Uh, we update it weekly. We are going to update it today. Check it out later today. Uh, yeah, so weekly, and we are indicating the timeline, so we are updating it weekly. Okay. I think most of these questions are repeated from previous sessions. Uh, yeah, I think that is all the questions we have. Oh, yeah, there's a question about MWS not receiving a certificate. Do you have any answer to that? Do you, do you want to ask the question again? Oh, why does the MWS track not have a certification at the end of the, yes, at the end of the certification phase? Yeah, I, I think this is something that uh, Benson, uh, and apologies, Benson was not able to join the call and Alela's dropped off. So uh, unfortunately this year we are not able to give MWS certifications and this does not mean that we, we, are, not con we are not supporting MWS learners. We still are supporting them. And that's why we have MWS track in 2020. So the fact is uh, we are just not able to offer certifications and this could also be due to discontinuation also from Google side of things, but also is saying, you know, you still have the opportunity to have access to all the learning content uh, all through from learning phase one till also having access to projects in project phase. So I think aside from certification, it's important to really skill up using this content. Okay, I think most of the questions here are repeated. So I think we can now hand over to Joy to close the session. Joy. Hi, everyone. Um, thank you all for joining us again. And um, it's been a very, very interesting month of learning. I am so, so represent um, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Cameroon, and it's more like a challenge to other countries. I want to see you guys representing in that leaderboard. Like, let's make it like the Olympics. You know how there's Olympics this year, but we can like turn this around. Let's let's turn it like, let, let it be really, really competitive. And really just to nudge you guys that um, really, really commit the hours. The weekend is just tomorrow and Sunday. So let's really make use of it. I, we have about, um, 
eight days or nine days to the end of phase one, which there's a lot you can do. Like I've seen people that have turned things around even at the last day. So let's like put it in, pull in the effort and just keep pushing. And I promise you that it's going to be worth it. 2020 is already a very strange year. So why don't you challenge yourself to achieve something in this year and let this be one of them so that's more like a challenge to you guys and i know that we're all going to make ourselves proud and also um skill up and then upgrade ourselves so that's it for me Messi. thank you so much for putting this together and thank you so much bethany for being an awesome awesome co-host um yes so from lagos i'd like to say bye everyone bye joy thanks guys bye. for inviting us to the platform you're so welcome, Blessing. You're so, so welcome. I'm even as well. You're so, so welcome. Thank you guys so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye, all.